All right, let's see. Uh, let's let this thing run and see what comes of it. My name's Lon Brower. I'm a contemporary painter of both figure and plein air landscape. Well, I paint other things too, of course. Love paint. There's nothing, nothing better. Oil paint, particularly. You know, you've got a two of this stuff that you squirt it out and you pick it up with a brush and you make a mark, you make another mark, make a third mark, scrape it off, you put it back down again. And if you're lucky, you'll end up with an image that tells a story. I've been recently working a great deal with, um, with a modified Zorn palette, and that's black and a couple yellows, a couple reds, and titanium white. With these six colors, you can make a wide variety of uh, mixtures of different values, different hues, and uh, pretty much do anything you need to do. You know, if you add a little bit of blue to it, that just expands your, your uh, uh, toolbox just that much more. You know, mixing color is, is, is just a wonderful thing. You know, it's a yellow ochre and a cad red. Um, you know, if I have a day, if I go in the studio in the morning and I don't know what to do exactly, I'll just mix paint. Uh, it's just, it feels good. Uh, and I just love to see what, what comes up. And I'm often surprised colors that I know should work together uh, when I actually do it uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's it, it always uh, shows me something I didn't know you know and you take black and, and you take white and use them as modifiers gives you a nice range of values and all kinds of subtle interesting colors come up now here's black and cadmium red. I use this a lot for uh, uh, doing my line work. It's dark, but it's not black. And then if I mod modify this with some white, it goes from that kind of a reddy brown to a soft, dusty purple. That's a color I love. So I want to do a short demo here and just kind of walk you through how I put together a painting. The two little apples sitting on a white surface. Sketch them in. The surface I'm working on here is a uh, dry erase board. So it's uh, non, non, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, there's no absorbency. It's not going to suck the oil out. It, it's it's very hard surface, and uh, so I can move the paint around without it dragging. I find that really kind of interesting. It's not a surface I use all the time, but uh, for this demo, I certainly wanted to try it out. And what I'm doing now is I've taken a mixed up a taken the local color uh, of a red. Uh, cad red and I've added a little black to it so just to darken it down you know oil painting then we want to start dark and go to light you know it's the opposite of watercolor where you go from you go from light to dark so now I'm, as I'm laying this in I'm conscious of the contours cross contours of these these objects And you see how I can take a rag and just wipe down all the way back to the surface. So it's that s slick surface. And then I come in and I can wipe out even on the, uh, on the objects themselves. Again, taking, using, taking uh, a full advantage of that uh, light surface. Really being interested in those uh, cross contours because that's going to describe the, it's going to describe three dimensionality of these objects. Now I'm laying in a green. Can't go wrong with a uh, complementary of, of a green and a red together. 
This green is probably um, a yellow ochre and a black modified with white. So it's a soft green, a real soft, dusty green. Put that on both objects. Next thing I'm going to do though is come back in and re-establish the, draw, uh, the drawing of these objects. As you can see, I've lost the edges. Re-establish those out, outside contours. And then what I'm going to do, of course, is break them down again. Put it on, take it off. Put it on, take it off. Always keep in mind, too, simple pictures are best. Thing I'm doing here is I'm going to add some, uh, yeah, I'm adding a little, probably some CAD, uh, CAD yellow light. It's got a little more chroma. The intent, anyway, is to have a little more chroma than that soft green. But it's a subtle change, uh, but it's enough of a change to uh, show the planes as the thing uh, turns in space. This is CAD Red Straight. Uh, I love it. As you put it on, if you look up in the, the upper right hand corner there, uh, that's a surface color, whereas down the lower right or lower left hand corner of that front apple, that red becomes a uh, almost a, a bounce shadow. Same color. Putting this paint on with a, um, I think it's a one inch maybe three-quarter inch uh, bright. Yeah, it's three-quarter inch, I believe. Little highlights, just put them on there, put it down, leave it alone. Come back in with a rag. A little mineral spirits. And you can see in the lower left-hand corner of that front apple, I've lost that, lost that edge almost entirely. I don't need it. Because there's enough information there that uh, tells tells the brain what what it needs to to know to be able to read these as apples. Oh, that was nice. See how that chiseled that out by using the negative space in the background to describe that edge. So I've got a hard edge without actually drawing anything. Yeah, it's a little more of that cad yellow, probably a little bit of black in it to make it green. nice kind of sitting on top of that. Uh, see how I broke that edge there. Try to break edges where I can. Is this abstract? Yes, of course it's abstract. Is it is it representational? Yes, it's a representational. It can be both at the same time. Why did I put the box around it? I don't know. I just like boxes. That's, uh, that's an ivory black and, and a little bit of cad red. Just some marks to show, give it some weight. Just marks, just marks, marks, marks on the surface. Yeah, those last two marks, I don't know if I needed those or not. Can always wipe them off. So there you are. That's a quick one. These are some of the, uh, some paintings I've been working on of late. Mostly animals and birds. But you can see how I can move paint around and make something that we we uh, we understand it's representational, but uh, uh, just make it interesting. I love birds and dogs.